You cannot have a situation where during the elections the uh, voting material finds its way in informal settlements and then later on say those informal settlements are illegal. It's contradictory. Escom Plus is an informal settlement. We in our is Ekhlala Abantu, about around eight to nine thousand. That's the population, and then the household about uh, four to five thousand household. Concept of street naming, yes, and a plan act. We are figuring it as a leadership, and then as a leadership, say Tata ke say Sempagatin. The next step was to create a map of the area. So we had to do transit walk, to walk about the settlement, uh, draw. Once the map has been uh, developed and designed by the community, it was taken to a professional person to properly do it uh, correctly. And once we've completed the map of the area, we realized that now the mammoth task was to put GPS coordinates in each household, or what people call to uh, shacks. Um, we then thought about Google uh, International. We dropped them an email, um, and they were enthusiastic. They responded positively that uh, um, they would like to partner, partner with us to do this project. Uh, after backwards and forward, a formal contract was agreed upon, was signed off, and um, the biggest step was now to identify community volunteers in school and plus informal settlements and to train them on the technology. When Google came on board with their plus code addressing technology, they were adding value to what we had already started in Scone Plus as the street naming project. That's when I realized how big this project actually is. So they had a solution. They are plus code addressing technology. So according to Google, plus codes are like addresses, but for people in places without one. These are young people um, out of school, um, unemployed. So they, they had to learn this new technology. As a young person, this meant that um, we are also learning new skills, um, especially that we are living in an era whereby um, the fourth industrial revolution has, has taken the world by storm. This meant that um, one will be able to learn new skills and also um, keep with the current trends that are you know, faced by the world and also share those particular skills, which are soft skills and te technological skills. We as Planet were trained by the Google Plus Codes addressing team all the way in India. The training happened uh, on Google Meet virtually, which I was privileged to be a part of. So to do anything to it, you need to tap on it. And the, the interesting and thing is that two days we will go on class and train and learn on the app. And then the other two days we'll go on the field to practice what has been learned in the class. When we went on the ground and started implementing what we had learned, we got to understand and have an appreciation of the theory that we learned. It was very exciting to learn this new skill. Um, they, they learned and they went on site to practice what they learned. They argue among themselves, no, 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 the street is not straight, no, it's, it's not, it's caving, you know, and all those things. No, here's the, the gate starts here, no, it doesn't start here, it starts there. So all those discussions amongst themselves were very enriching.
The practice for the addressing exercise is quite technical because you have to account for each meter on the road. You have to make sure that you are at the center of the road and that the road width is in the center and that the addresses are not appearing on top of the houses and making sure that the segment of the road up until the end has accurate information. The project has been successfully implemented. We're able to install in each structure a, an address board. And this address board actually gives you the exact location of the structure. One of my highlights or the moment I'd say I was proud of the project, it was when we started the process of um, fixing the boards. That, that's when for me the actual project became alive, you know, in, in reality one, one was able to see, you know, those digital addresses being plugged in their, in their homesteads. We then called a public meeting um, and the reason why we called a public meeting was to go through uh, how you use the, the coordinates on the plates. Having the community meeting with the residents, you know, explaining to them on how does the digital address work. Um, when they have an emergency, they are able to call an ambulance or call the police and give them those digital addresses. That's, that, those are some of um, my proudest moments of, of the project. This project, we are experiencing the beauty of technology coming to solve problems that have been there for years. Any place that has no addresses, street name and lights, it's very dangerous for us as South African police services because most of the wanted criminals are running to the informal settlement and then tends to be a hovering place for them. So now with this new initiative or project by Planet, we really appreciate it because now it makes us as police officers to be more accessible. This intervention is one amongst the main intervention towards recognizing informal settlements and to providing tenure and giving dignity and respect and citizenship to the residents living in formal settlements.